a cloudy day today. Typical morning hydration. One gigantic mug. Pears in there, big bag of beets. We got we some avocados, some more mangoes. We got lots of good stuff. Breakfast, though it doesn't look like much, is just going to be um, five bananas with maybe a couple frozen ones, just to give it some nice consistency. Um, I like it. I like it when it tastes like ice cream, basically. <laughs> so I got a big bag of frozen bananas here too, and I'm gonna toss in some cinnamon, um, toss in some cinnamon and some vanilla as well, uh, just to give it a little bit of that ice cream kind of flavor that I like. Um, but that'll probably last me, I mean, that'll be like a lunch um, meal as well. Just kind of, it's gonna be a busy day. <laughs> I am just getting ready to pack it all up. To enjoy the day. I just opened these beets and it turns out they are like ginormous. Look at the size of that. Look at that beet. Isn't it huge? It's beautiful. And like they're all like that. They're all they're all pretty big. Ah, beet, beet, beet. mushroom farms um, to grab some portobello, some caminis, uh, that kind of stuff uh, for some of the boxes. I've got a few loaded up here that I'm dropping off early um, in town at North Bray Public School, but yeah. Other than that, that's what I'm doing. I'm stopping in here for some delicious and tasty mushrooms. Field Public School for their uh, staff drop-off. So I'm just waiting um, until the right time so I can go in because um, the ambassador, the person picking up the boxes for the staff, isn't uh, in yet. Um, today I'm just using the car but normally I have a trailer attached to the back of it too. Um, but because we didn't have as many uh, this week in town and Cam grabbed a few at his lunch break so yeah, we kind of divided it up into a few different drop-offs today. So I didn't need to load up the big trailer. Yay! I don't like to load up the big trailer anyway. The trailer fell off the car once last year when I was hauling it down a really, really busy road. Um, in fact, right up front of Western University. 
and it just popped off. Like in the middle of a rainstorm, in the middle of the road, I wasn't even in the right lane. Like, I, oh my God, it was terrible. So I just stopped the car, put it on my four ways, got out and used all my she-man strength to uh, lift it back on and kind of do the adjustments that I had to do. Oh man, it was awful. And I did pretty good. Like I got it back on within, like I was only out for maybe two minutes. Still, I felt so bad and I was drenched and I, oh, it was just a scary moment. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm nervous about that, but I'm never gonna let it happen again. Like I triple check whenever I hook up the trailer now and kind of put it to the test. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that it's just the truck, the truck, the Jeep today. Who am I driving? I don't even know. And actually this location, Mountsfield Public School, is going to be open to the public very soon. June 1st, it's going to be open to basically anyone who wants to order a box. Um, but it will be a fundraiser location, meaning you pay a dollar or two extra to get a box at this location. And that money goes to helping the school um, in any healthy activity areas. So it, it could be like expanding their gym program, their, um, their soccer, you know, their fields, maintenance, whatever. Anything to do with health, basically, as long as it's put into that kind of initiative. Um, we're supportive of it. So yeah, that's exciting. That is exciting because then we have like a major hub in London, major one in Dorchester, and we've got the deliveries that we can kind of keep up at. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. So I just got out of the Super Juice Me uh, Veg Up London and the London Public Library. We're co-hosting uh, a film screening tonight of Super Juice Me downtown. And I just got out of it and it was pretty cool. I'm already someone who juices quite a lot, so I didn't really learn a lot, but it was really neat to see how um, other people reacted uh, to just the idea of that juicing and plants that there's medicine in food. Um, there was some interesting conversation going on afterwards, which was fun to see. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just about to go head home. I don't know when I'm 